So now in this video, we got a couple NPN bipolar junction transistors wired as an OR gate right there. So what that means is as long as uh, both of the transistors have a low input, so that's negative supply in this particular case, zero volts, however you want to look at it, the transistor will be off. Now it'll also be off if it's floating, but you may get stray signals, as you can see right there. The LED's turning on a little bit. Something to be aware of. But in any case, you need a high input in order to, in this case, turn the load on. You could also consider this a high output because uh, the LED is on, uh, even though the transistor's on the low side. Um, so it's all uh, dependent on the circuit, what high and low mean. Now we uh, put uh, that jumper, positive supply. Again, LED turns on, but uh, if no high input, then the LED will be off right there. We can have both of these inputs high as well. We can put them both to the positive supply. Whenever you have an OR gate, um, you could have one or more of the inputs high. It doesn't matter how many, you can have all of them. You may have more than uh, two inputs. Um, we only have two in this particular example, but they can all be high. Um, the output will be high, just as long as at least one of them is high. So now, this circuit revolves around a couple of NPN bipolar junction transistors for the most part. So we got NPN, there's the symbol, may not always be circled though. We got the emitter where the arrow is, base there, collector there, and uh, usually the part, uh, the pin names, I mean, are not written down. Often there's a part number though, um, and as long as you have an equivalent to uh, that part number, you'll be just fine, but the pin layout may be different. I'm using the 2N3904, left pin's the emitter, middle pin is the base, right pin is the collector, and uh, I squashed this while it was on the board or something, so the uh, pins are a little bit wavy, but they will work just fine. We got the startings to make this NPN bipolar junction transistor a switch. The emitter is to ground. So for NPN, when the emitter is to ground, that's when you want a switch. A very low amount of uh, base to emitter current will result in a lot more collector to emitter current. That will be allowed to flow. So I'm going to put a 10K uh, resistor from the base up to there and then try to plug that in um, to the same row and uh, set it off to the side for now. So we have our uh, base resistor right there where we can turn on the transistor and now we will add the load. So the load goes on the collector side when you have a switch, transistor switch right there. So red LED, long lead the anode has to head towards the positive supply, short lead the cathode towards the negative supply when it uh, lights up. So the resistor we're going to put to the positive supply right there. 220 ohm to protect the red LED from 5 volts. I have the power on right now and uh, we have a basic transistor switch uh, right there. It can be off or on. Let's uh, set it to off. So now, to make the OR gate, we just need another NPN bipolar junction transistor wired exactly the same as that one. So we got the two collectors tied together, thanks to that jumper in the middle, and they're both uh, going to ground right there. Um, we could use two separate power supplies if we wanted to. That'd make it a little bit more complicated. Um, but in uh, any case, uh, I'll put the resistor there. It's a little easy to see that it's to the middle pin, the base right there and then our other jumper. So we do have the stray signals as you can see right there. So um, generally not best to leave this output uh, floating, um, but uh, you know, maybe that's fine. But yeah, we go to negative supply, LED is off. Both inputs have to be uh, to the negative supply. They cannot have a high input, that's the main thing. Now we got the high input for one, LED turns on, high input for the other, LED turns on, or we could have all inputs high. Um, doesn't matter, just as long as at least one of them is high. So, um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.